Good evening, welcome to Comedy Congress. It's no fun saying what you're supposed to say. It totally inappropriate is what's funny. Unexpected is funny. When Kennedy died, Lenny Bruce went on stage that night and went, poor Von Meter, which uh, is a very topical joke from 1963. Von Meter had made a fortune doing Kennedy as an impression and had an album. And that was his opener that night. Without a sense of humor, tragedy stays tragedy. With humor, it kind of simmers to a funny point at some point. Well, tragedy attracts comedy because you can't stay that down for that long. Like, you can't stay that serious or on edge or sad. Something has to break that tension. Chris Christie is, as the hurricane is moving into his state, giving some advice to people who are out on the Jersey Shore. You know, I saw some of these news feeds that I've been watching upstairs of people sitting on the beach in Asbury Park. Get the hell off the beach in Asbury Park and get out. Is that New Jersey's emergency plan, just the governor saying, get out, get the hell off the beach? Just get, out, get the hell off the beach. It, that, that's all we got. That's our plan. Get the hell off the beach. Well, he's trying to get them to understand, Alonzo. The goal of the trick is to not discuss the tragedy at hand, but to discuss what's happened and people's reaction to it. That's where the humor is. Uh, Mr. Giuliano, would you like a salad? Well, listen to me. When 9-11 happened in this country, yeah. I said, I will never eat chicken again until we find retribution for everything that happened. So I will have a burger, a 9-11 burger. You know, 9-11 is such a unique event, and everybody talked about doing comedy. And of course, Gilbert Gottfried was famous for doing a 9-11 joke too soon after 9-11. You couldn't make fun of 9-11. You could absolutely make fun of the aftermath of 9-11. I'll n never forget the joke I thought. said, Vegas is so empty, the hookers are handing out their own flyers. <laughs> and it got a much bigger laugh back then. I just think we need comedy to make all of our failures as a species okay. It's more healthy than, you know, like I said, just sitting around brooding or not doing anything or, or worse, anger and revenge. You know, that comes up after certain tragedies. And here's what the president said trying to make a joke out of that search and that reason for war. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. I think that's where the humor is, that we're being led by incompetent maniacs who are uh, whose motives aren't, aren't particularly savory, uh, as opposed to the event itself, which can be discussed endlessly as far as the rhyme and reason. America only hits you because you make me angry. <laughs> oh, I don't do it because I want to, but you make me so angry. To use an overused phrase, the terrorists kind of win if they ruin your sense of humor. After 9-11 happened, there, there was that moment where we, everyone was saying, will we have a love again, you know, and Chris Rock was talking about it, you know, and, and saying, like, that's ridiculous, people need to laugh. All we can do is laugh and make jokes. Try to cope. I hope that wasn't too depressing. I'm talking to the camera because there's a guy behind it, and I'm supposed to act like I'm talking to him. Good night. <laughs>